What's in the box? Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. I'm your host, GQ. Do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours like truly? Like the video, leave some comments on this video and the other ones that I've done. Share the video and, of course, you know, let me know how I'm doing. So we'll get to all the other, you know, Patreon and all this stuff later. Let's get right to it. Today, I got something interesting. Um, kind of overdue, I guess, considering this is a character that, I, character that I've been a fan of for a very long time. Um, it's interesting, given, well, we'll get to that in a second. So, yeah, this is one of those characters that I've kind of, you know, liked. Always thought was pretty cool. Just never got around to collecting anything related to this character. So it was like, you know what? It's time to, uh, to break that cycle. Because, why not, you know? Always thought she was an interesting character. Overhead shots getting the love right now. And we have here the Final Fantasy VII Remake Play Arts Kai Tifa Lockhart. Now, anybody that knows me knows that Tifa is the type of character that I would definitely take a liking to. Uh, again, you're looking at the image right now. It takes very little reasoning to understand why this is an appealing character. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show the front shot of the box. Of course, you got Tifa in her Final Fantasy VII Remake design. Uh, you got Final Fantasy VII Remake, Play Arts Kai, Tifa Lockhart on the side. You got some more images of Tifa on the back, along with a bunch of writing that I am not able to read at this moment. And it wouldn't help anyway because it's probably a bunch of boring stuff because it says warning and some other stuff. And Square Enix. Square Enix uh, sent a check. And of course, again, Play Arts Kai with uh, Tifa Lockhart and Final Fantasy VII Remake logo on the, the front there. This, yep, magnetic window box. She looks great. Got information about her on the uh, inside of the panel there. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's see. Let's see any little interesting tidbits? Uh, let's see. Young woman torn between exacting revenge and saving lives. Tifa runs Seventh Heaven, a popular bar in the se Sector Seven slums. I wonder why it's a popular bar if she's the uh, proprietor of the bar. I wonder why people keep coming in to get stuff. Yeah. So let's see. Members of underground militant anti-shinder group Avalanche. Whatever. Anybody that's played the game knows about Tifa. Um, yeah, they did an amazing job with her remake design because obviously uh, the PlayStation 1, God, it's crazy to think that this game has been around this long. And it's even crazier to think it took as long as it took for just the first part of the remake to get released. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the, re the remainder of that game once it comes around. Um, Definitely gotta say I am a fan of the game. I've actually, I'm almost done with it. Um, so, kinda looking forward to finishing that game soon. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we got Tifa herself. Now, the interesting thing is this is a 10 inch figure. At least that's what they claim. If you really think about it, Given Tifa, because Tifa's not super tall or anything, so given her height, this is essentially a six scale figure, even though it's not officially called a six scale figure, but it basically is. And I would love for um, Hot Toys, unless they've already, maybe who knows, maybe they've actually already done it, but I would love for Hot Toys to do their version of Tifa and see, you know, how that would look. Or even, you know, do the, the Advent Children version where she had the, um, the kind of long coat that she would wear. So yeah, there's there's a lot of possibility there because only again, Play Arts Kai is something I've had in the past. Um, I've had a God, what did I have? I had Batman, Batgirl, Wonder Woman uh, in the Play Arts Kai style. I've also got Virgil from um, uh, what is that game? Devil May Cry, and I also have um, I think Vincent from Final Fantasy VII. 
as well. But all in all, let's see. Let's get the rest of the plastic off. Good overall design. It captures her look very well. Um, hmm. The face, as some people have complained about, is not 100% perfect. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with that. And with Tifa, I mean, obviously with any female character, getting their face sculpt right is a real big part of it because obviously, they, you know, they are looked at constantly. So yeah, they've got uh, between her kind of resting face and then they got a slightly more determined look. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably switch those out and we'll see the differences between them. Just, you know, maybe one will look better than the other. She also comes with an array of hands. And I probably will not be putting all of these on because that's just too much. But yeah, Tifa, for those that don't know, for those of you who are new to Tifa, she is a brawler character. She can fight her little butt off. Um, that's what I thought was actually pretty cool about her outside of her physical appearance. I like the fact that in a role-playing game when there's magic and sword play and guns and all that, she just goes up there and just beats the crap out of people. So I always thought that was kind of cool about her character. Um, yeah, she has a stand also, so she's gonna be using that stand to stand up. And interestingly enough, they gave her not one, but two additional hair, hair sculpts because she, as you can see, has very long hair. So, oh, okay. I don't know. I thought they did a uh, situation where they made it where she has kind of brownish hair and then black hair because she's been shown in both ways. Apparently that's not the case. So she just has different hair sculpts, I guess, just based on how you want her hair to flow. Yeah, that's pretty much the other, yeah. Kind of maybe back a little and then off to the opposite direction. Who knows? You'll get pictures. You know, you guys know me by now. So yeah, um, I'm not really gonna draw it out anymore. That's pretty much all there is. Uh, cool, now she's standing. Let's we'll see how long this lasts. So yeah, that was what was in the box. Also, speaking of cool stuff, if you wanna be cool like our Culture Junkies level patrons, Mr. Marcus Smith, Fab Nerd Life, Nanette Net, The Iguana Man, and the other Steve. Appreciate you guys supporting. And if you would like to support Culture Junkies for as little as a dollar a month, not even a dollar a day, like some of those really greedy charities, you can support a Culture Junkie. Uh, if you wanna get a shout out, that's a different tier. We also have new tiers, uh, producer level and executive producer level. Go to patreon.com slash culture junkies for more information about that. Also, don't forget to check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash culture junkies. We have a full, just about full week of content. Of course, uh, it's great Daikuji, King Amarok, and Kenshiro stream throughout the week. And on Wednesdays, Culture Junkies Live at 9 p.m. Eastern. Live show, we talk about a whole slew of topics. And during a segment on the show, we call The Power Is Yours. Turn it over to you, the viewers. You guys can put in the chat what it is that you want to talk about, and we will talk about it. So, once again, for Final Fantasy VII Remake, Tifa Lockhart, uh, the Play Arts Kai version, I'm GQ, and I'll see you guys next time.